Hey, welcome to our studio. In this video, we're going to be drawing this bird. We're going to be using Prismacolor pencils, and I'll be working with a 4H pencil, an HB pencil, and then we'll need an eraser and a brush to brush away the, uh, the pencil lead as we go. So to begin with, we're going to start with a 4H pencil, and we're going to use light pressure. We want to sketch and basically get our basic foundation in before we commit to anything. So we'll be doing everything very light. So to start with, let's go ahead and do a, the circle of the body. So we're going to draw the circle, and it's very light, so you might not even see it very well yet. Then we're going to draw the circle where the head will be and then the shape of the, of the tail. And watch the angle of the, sh of the tail and just get that rectangle shape there. And that's all we're gonna do to start with. And then what we'll do is we're gonna change the, those shapes, this combination of shapes, and we're gonna make an object out of it. So now I'm gonna look at the, the picture and this is just my foundation. It doesn't mean I have to stick with it. I can adjust it or tweak it however I want. Never feel like you've gotten it perfect and you, you can't change it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm looking at the bird and see how its back goes down and it blends right into his back right here. So I'm gonna just kind of lightly sketch what I see here and I'm, I'm, I'm adjusting things as I see them. And I can see that the top of his head is quite flat. So we're going to go ahead and flatten that just a little bit and add the beak. And he's got a very flat beak, not, not too wide. So try not to get it too wide there. And then I'm going to combine these two shapes together to get this part coming and working around. It's got a lot of feathers there, so there's going to be a light a lot of loose lines there, not hard edges. But what I'm doing is I'm just kind of watching to see the shapes that I see. Now we have the wing here and I need to add that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay attention to the space between there. And I can see it starts about right here and goes out to about right here, which tells me I need to go a little bit longer down here. And then I'm gonna sketch the lines in there. So I've got the basic foundation of the body, and we've got the beak in, and uh, approximately where the eye is. We'll go ahead and put the feet in here. And I'm just getting the basic shapes there, and we'll add texture and the form a little bit more in just a, a couple minutes here. All right, so now I have the basic um, shapes here. I'm going to erase all these lines that I don't need and we're eventually going to change this quick sketch into a drawing. All right, and I'm still working with a 4-H pencil. Now I just need to start developing the bird. I've got the basic foundation and I've got the, the object is here, but now I need to add some texture and form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flicking of the wrist and I'm going to just flick and get some short little lines going up that will kind of get that feathery look going. And I'm going to look at the shapes that I see within. I can see that there's a little white area around the eye. So I'm going to sketch that in and make the eye a little bit bigger. And I'm going to start filling that in. When you are doing little tiny strokes on a pencil and it looks like it's going to get dull faster, one thing that you can do is just twirl your pencil a little bit so that you're working on a different area all the time. So I'm just twirling my pencil as I go just to, just to keep it sharp longer. And then one thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we are paying attention to the angle of all these little lines. They're not all going this direction. There's some coming down, there's some going out. So, and there's some that are just little tiny lines going every which way. So we wanna pay attention to those lines as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get some lines going and watching the direction of our lines. And we know that we're not drawing very dark. We're not seeing a lot of depth in it yet, but we're going to change to an HP pencil in a little while and we'll be adding some more value and depth there. 
try to keep soft edges so you don't have too too definite of a shape because it's pretty pretty varied there and I can see down here that the lines are going every which way down underneath the, the wing here so I'm just doing little tiny short lines and I'm trying to pay attention to the directions that they're going some of them are more defined than others Constantly looking at your picture and referring to that reference as you draw is vital. If you are just looking at your drawing and not looking at your reference, it's not going to turn out to look like what you want it to look like. So if you have a reference, make sure you're looking at it. So I'm basically just getting my lines in and getting a little bit of texture in. It's kind of the underneath layer but it's important and I'm watching my angles and I'm just filling in some texture. See these lines kind of go up towards the feathers a little bit. Constantly just pay attention to the angles that you're seeing. Okay, now that I have a layer of everything on, I'm going to go ahead and switch pencils. And instead of my 4H pencil, I'm going to work with my HB. This is a darker, softer pencil, so I don't even have to press much harder and I can get um, a, a lot darker value. So I'm going to go ahead and start building up my value. And to begin with, I want to look at the eye and I'm going to get that dark eye in, leaving a little white reflection, make it look like it's alive. And I'm going to press quite hard to get that dark in. And I'm going to look around it and it actually has a little bit of lines going around. So it has some white space around it. At the top especially. And this is kind of darkened in a little bit. So I'm going to build that up. And you can see the value change there. So now as I do it, I want to look at light and dark values along with the direction of the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and flick my wrist and turn my pencil and start drawing in some more lines. And you can do harder pressure to get the darker lines in or you can also layer it. More layers will make it darker as well. Basically we're doing the same thing we did before but we're layering another layer of these little feathery lines and we're doing it with the HP pencil to get the value to deepen. But we're going to be looking at our lines as we go and then we're going to be softening some. I'm going to hold my pencil on the farther end and I'm going to just darken and soften a few areas where the lines are a little more blurry. So I'm going to go ahead and soften this area and I'm going to go ahead and add a shadow to this area right here and we'll build that shadow up a little bit as we go. So we're starting to get some depth already. So let's go back to the, the top head. And it looks like I've got a little too much height there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that down just a little bit and erase those top lines. It might seem like it's just all the same lines, but if you look closely at it, you're gonna notice the variety of hard and soft edges and different angles to the lines and that's what's going to make it pop and make it look more realistic so Okay, we're going to still need to build this up a little bit, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and look at the legs here, and we're going to give it some shape and form that a little bit. And I can see that I 
have them too short, so I'm going to go ahead and extend it out just a little bit. And instead of being straight, I'm actually looking at the, the curves that are in it and trying to add a little more interest than I had. All right, now that we have a lot of um, lead on there, we can go ahead and do a little more blending because there's a lot, a lot more that we can work with. So I'm just kind of adding a little shading just in the darker areas, going over some of these areas just to give it some value and form there. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to build it up some of the areas. I want to keep his chest nice and white, but the bottom edge of the bird is definitely the shadow side, so we can smooth that out, build that up. We want, it, we want it to show that there's a lighter and a darker edge to the bird. So this darker edge up here can be blended as well. Also your, use your finger too. And then we want to um, just pop in the last little darks and uh, give it that interest contrast. So I'm just putting some in just a few areas that I feel like need to be built up just a little bit. Across the, his back, it's a little bit darker right there. I want his um, tail to have a little more definition, so blend that out. We're going to Deepen the shadow here and the contrast on the tips there. We're going to just start adding a little bit of value there. I don't want to feel like we're coloring it. We want to make sure that we're putting a shadow in there as well. And then what we want to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little value to the rock that it's standing on. And we want it to look like it's a different uh, texture than the feathers or his legs or beak, and so I'm just using the far end of my pencil and I'm trying to softly put some value in there and build that up. Then I'm going to hold my pencil closer up, press a little harder to get a little bit of contrast there. It doesn't have to be very defined, just a little, little bit there. So I make sure my pencil is nice and sharp and I'm going to deepen some of the lines that I see, darken some value, put a little shadow in where I feel like it needs it, and then I'm going to go back with just my blending stump and add the last touches to it in just one second. But I want it to look like this area is light and this is darker, so I'm still building this up a little bit more. And I'm still paying attention to my lines. And I want it to vary because there's different values and different, different colors all over anyway. I'm going to take my blending stump and we're going to blend out the rocks so there's no perfectly white areas to it. Because contrast, where it's the light and the dark meet, that shows the biggest contrast, that is where your eye is drawn. And we don't want our eye to be drawn to the rock. We want it to be going to the bird. So we're going to blend that out and just soften any areas that we need. Use my finger and soften out a little bit more. And then I can erase any edges that I might have smeared or need to touch up a little bit. It helps to have a brush to keep from smearing things. And we've drawn a bird. So. We started with a very basic shape and uh, we did just the circles and then we changed those shapes into the object of the bird. And then after we've gotten the bird drawn, we have looked at the detail and the lines and angles and we started drawing the feathers. We did them first with an, a 4H pencil and then we added a darker value by doing them again over with an HB pencil. Then we started adding shadow and depth and we created this bird. If you got any value out of this video, like, comment, or subscribe below. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.